Hey, it's Bart with the Scotch Test Dummies, and I'm coming to you with a quick hitter. So it's been a while. So I got to go over the rules. Got to go over the rules. We've had samples. Samples. Why do I say it like that? We've had a bunch of samples sent to us over the years. Beaver being one of the best. Hello, Florida. You guys are awesome. All right, I'm going to be trying this sample blind. May make a fool of myself. Sometimes there's very odd things in the samples I get. And then I'm doubling down, baby, because I'm also going to spend some time talking about my other channel, Bonding with Board Games, because I'm doing a Walking Dead, the AMC zombie TV show spinoffs. They've got a book out from a company in Sweden called Free League. And Scott and I on my board game channel are playing through it because Scott loves zombies. Loves them. All right. I almost saw the label there. I had to hide it again. I can see it's handwritten. Wasn't typed. That's all I can tell. But you will know already. It'll be listed up on the screen what it is that I'm trying. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about The Walking Dead and the role playing we're doing. But first, the nose. Ooh. Huh. So here's the tricky part. Uh, on first sniff, I'm going to say a scotch. Now, I've been fooled many a time <laughs> because, of course, scotch will oftentimes be using like first fill barrels or something that's coming over from it had been a bourbon and it will have these vanilla notes. But the nose here isn't jumping out as a bourbon. It's actually kind of muted. I get a little like a fruity note and what I believe is barley because I get a little bit of a rising dough but it's faint it's light hmm ah huh. woo um, powerful high ABV high ABV Huh. And I almost got a Four Roses feel there. Well, that's interesting. So before I go any further, so role playing. Oh, I'm nerdy, baby. I'm a big nerd. I love board games and I love role playing games. Basically, what I love is having people gathered together. So in this case, Scott and I. And then engaging in a rule set. So, um, you know. Even chess has its rules, and as long as we all understand the rules, we can move forward in the game together. Um, but dice um, make for the role-playing experience to be chaotic. And I love the fact of the theme of AMC The Walking Dead. So um, for those that uh, are maybe, I've piqued your interest, Scott and I are playing two different characters. I'm playing a much younger Special Operations Command, kind of Special Forces person, and Scott's playing a law enforcement officer that's about his age. <laughs> and we're in Atlanta. We were with the National Guard trying to prevent, help, whatever weird thing is going on, whatever pestilence is spreading, zombies. And we finally figured out this is about to go bad. We bail out. We go to the Truist Building, which is this awesome 60-story high-rise. And we go on in search of whiskey. <laughs> it's all in the game, baby. We find a family in there. We're just trying to survive. So it's a survival show. If you've seen the TV show, there's going to be all kinds of little issues and problems. Enough of that. What else can I do here? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go with like a Glen Morangi. Yeah, scotch. Um, Caden Heads, okay. A Glen Burgie, interesting, hold on. Because, hold on. That's exactly what the signatory vintage was that I just sampled that we had sent to us as well. That is, crazy because Caden has another independent uh, this is a London shop pick Caden heads London shop pick Glenn Burgey that is wild I picked I literally just went and blindly grabbed out of this box 10 year old 56.6 I thought it was even a little hotter than that finished and Palo Palo Corpado Bruno talked about these um that it well, he can explain it better than I can, but I would have not even known he explained it. 
and it's kind of like there's a, I don't know, like a little wild something happens, Apollo Cortado. I don't know. Um, I'm sure I will have researched it by the time you've watched this. So that again is tasty. I'm still stunned that I grabbed another independent bottler from Glenn Burgey. I can't say the name. I'm so sorry. But mm. so some of you that have been longtime watchers of the show know that when AMC The Walking Dead was out, Scott had asked me, hey, if the zombie apocalypse started and we were together, you know, we're both, he was still with the police department at the time. He goes, if I got bit, I got to shoot you in the head. You wouldn't even see it coming. Put you out, Tremesri, quick, put you out. He was like, what? You're not even going to talk? Mm -mm, just surprise you. Just, you'd be like, hey, I got bit here. <laughs> I go put you to sleep. You wouldn't even see it coming. It'd be the nicest way to go. And he was like, man, I don't know. That seemed kind of abrupt. I go, well, what do you want to, you want to let it fester? You want to start turning? Mm -mm. What if it's one of them quick turns? Ugh, one of them quick turns and you could run real fast. I'm not that quick. I'm not that quick. <laughs> so that kind of joy that we've even done here on the show translates into what we're doing with this role playing, which is just fun. I'll put a link just in case you want to go over and take a look at that. Hey, at the very least, it's your two favorite whiskey hosts. Whoops, something shot out there. And uh, you can watch us playing a game. A game that is completely false and fictional and not real. But, come on, if you've been tuning in and watching us, we're just drinking whiskey, having a good time. It's like hanging out, baby. A couple people have watched and said, when I watch your guys' Walking Dead show, it's relaxing. Like it should be. And we're, you, we're always, not usually, we're always sampling whiskey while we're doing it as well. All right, scotch it. You scotch got. Slaunch it, dummies. Dummies. <laughs>